Welcome to Meet and Match Digital Edition of Linea Pelle Fair. Hello, Anina. Hi, great to be here. So excited to be back. I miss you, Linea Pelle. I miss you, Milan. So you're so nice. We miss you as well. We miss you. Anina, you are an expert in technology. Which is your connection with fashion? Well, my background is as a fashion model, but now I design fashion tech products and for women. That's the news. So I didn't know this. Tell me more about it. Well, you know, as I have this multitasking lifestyle, as many women have, there's just not a lot of stylish things created for women, you know? They're very masculine and designed primarily for men, I have to be honest with you. And I don't know about you, but my battery on my phone is always at 1% until I created my wireless charging wallets. And now I'm always powered up and ready to go. Let me think that materials are important for your goods because women, because the texture, because it's an object that you keep in your hand all day long. What are you looking for, the materials covering? Well, first of all, exactly what you said. I mean, this is just so soft. It's very important that things are ergonomic and lightweight. A lot of people would think that this wireless charging wallet weighs a lot because it has a battery and technology inside and, you know, but actually it's super lightweight and it just feels like it's a normal wallet. And I think that's really what we're going for when we combine fashion and tech together is invisible technology, right? And so when I look for materials, I'm looking for really interesting colors and textures. I don't know if you can see this, but like, I think we need a lot of style in tech. You talk about lightness and you talk about invisible technology, which is the best suggestion you wanna give to materials company if they want to incorporate technology in their authentic materials? So I, I just want to give a little bit of background of sort of where the world is going, you know? We are seeing the emergence of domotics. We're entering into this era of smart home, smart cities, smart buildings, right? And smart hotels, for example. And so um, what's going to happen is there's this amazing new material called graphene and not enough people know about it um, but graphene can be turned into lots of different things one of which is an ink which then makes it printable now when we think about you know having to put tech into fashion we gotta think power management battery wires all this stuff at the moment but where it's all going to shift to is printed electronics on fabrics. And they're going to print sensors on fabrics and then the computing power and the battery power and the offloading will actually happen within the smart home, smart building, smart city environment. So the texture of the fabric and the textiles itself, they will become the sensors when we think about printing on top of them with graphene because we can print antennas into them and then they really, everything about it will become a sensor. So if you have a digital printer already in your factory, you may want to start looking at printed electronics and start making experiments with how can you print sensors onto fabrics and make it look cool and also 
think about this smart environment that we're moving into. I think, Anina, you gave the most smarter suggestions to all the materials company because I assume that leather, textile, they can keep their authenticity, the genuine aspect and also content. But the smart technology that you are adding to them, it's elevating the value. Definitely, as we move into this smart era and transparency, obviously health will become more and more important to people. Um, and uh, I, I think that we call it um, upgrading your manufacturing, right? And so you're upgrading your product that can do more. And when we think also for longevity and sustainability, we want products longer that have more functionality. We want products that are smarter because we're going to keep them longer, which is one of the sustainable practices. If you have something that you really love, I mean, I've had this wallet for two years and look, it looks brand new and believe me, I beat them up. I put them in my bag and I travel before <laughs> all around the world, right? And, and it's so important to have beautiful and high quality materials because that allows people and, and incites them to want to keep it longer, keep it better, prize it, take care of it. And why, when you put technology into things, people treat it with even more respect because it can do something to make their lives better. In my case, with the wireless charging wallets, it allows people to get all their work done in their day so that they can enjoy themselves in the evening and they can, you know, go out later in the you know coming era soon to a dinner etc and they don't have to be searching around for a plug or carrying a big heavy bag with you know a huge charging block in it so it's removing the friction and bringing more joy to people's lives and so it's a basic fact if it doesn't look good nobody's going to use it can we say that technology is female Technology has to be fun and even technology can be invisible and visible. So technology is smart. Thank you, Anina. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, I'm all for more women in tech and that's why I love fashion because there are so many fantastic companies out there building products for women to feel beautiful and awesome, and they're even run by women. So I love fashion for that reason. Thank you, Anina. Thank you very much. Your insights were so positive and optimistic. Thank you, Orietta. Such a pleasure to be here. I miss Linia Peller. Yeah. <laughs>